Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite stuff that I've been loving for the... That's rude. But hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This plane is like being really rude, flying around. But welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be showing you guys my favorites that I've been loving for the past few months. I used to love these videos so much when YouTube was heavy on beauty. Oop. Sorry. <laughs> I used to love these videos so much when YouTube was really heavy on makeup tutorials and makeup videos in general. Now I feel like it's more makeup on TikTok, which I love. But um... I just want to bring back my favorites, things that I've been loving for these past couple of months. I used to love to watch these videos all the time back then when YouTube used to be like all about beauty. So I just want to bring that back and just show, I'm pretty sure people are still doing that obviously, but I love them so I always wanted to make them. So I'm going to show you guys things that I've been loving and things that you definitely need for the next year. Alright, I'm going to be showing you guys products that I've been loving. Let's just start with skincare. Obviously, being in Sephora, they turned me into a skincare junkie. I used to always love skincare, but now I'm like, I don't even play around with it. Not like I ever really played around with my skin, but I feel like the products that I have are obviously way more better, high end. Even though you can't really put a label or a price on a good product, I feel like no matter the price, you can still get good products. So it really doesn't matter about the price point, but you get to get more luxury items or something that you would just never pay for that you get. Obviously, being a Sephora employee, I do get some products for free, which makes me test out different skincare. So for me, it was a little bit more easier to find out what my favorites are, what things I like, and what things that does not work for me. So I'm going to get into it with this toner. This is the Fresh Rose Toner. And as you can see, I do not play about this. This is my second bottle that I had. Um, when I first got it, I loved it. I have super dry skin. I tried it, I was obsessed. I finished it and I was just like, I'm not buying this again because I believe this is about 60 something dollars. I'm like, I am not buying this again. You know, you don't really need a toner, but I'm telling you, when I did not have this, I see a big difference in my skin. Like, my skin just wasn't acting right without this in my life and I, I just need this. If you have dry skin, you definitely need this toner. It's amazing. My next product that I've been obsessing over is the Charlotte Tilbury face cream. Um, once again, something else that I get free. We get gratis every month. And this is my third time getting this. And I'm obsessed. I'm upset because the next one, after I'm done with this, I'm just going to have to buy another one. And I'm really sad about that. Because I don't want to. But I'm going to have to because I'm obsessed. I will show you guys my second one that I love if I'm not using this. She was my first love. This was the Skin Fix again i have super dry skin so i love to feel thick creams on my skin i don't want nothing lightweight i like to feel the thickness of things i like greasy feelings um on my skin i know that's bother people sometimes they don't like that greasy stuff i do because i'm super dry so my skin drinks that all up so if this never came into my life i'm rocking with this all the time like this is hands down my favorite my skin reacts so well with this but this i would say like it's a light cream but it goes on very heavy and thick but it's light like it literally make your skin feel smooth like a baby's bottom and you just can't beat it like this is literally magic in a bottle and i just have to give it to her this is amazing definitely need it now for makeup i have a few oh wait i have one more skincare two more skincare products that i have to talk about so these are the Dior skincare. I have the Dior, what is it called? Life. This is a oil to make cleansing oil, oil to milk makeup remover cleanser. And then this one is the super potent cleanser. I didn't even peep that I said that. So these two are the, I'll tell you, I've been working at Sephora for about to be two years when i tell you that these are the best thing i've ever used to remove my makeup ever after everything i've tried these are the two best come at me again like five months later see if my mind still stays the same because i plan to do these monthly but right about now this is this is it for me i love to 
double cleanse my skin I always go in with the oil and cleanser um, I've tried so many cleansing oils um, I've tried pharmacy which is actually my favorite if I didn't have this I would definitely use pharmacy that's top tier so I had first aid beauty try that one it was okay but eh, whatever I had tried the Tatcha oil one also didn't like it too much I've tried the oat cleansing balm which is really popular at a time didn't like that one either like I said before if I had to pick I would choose pharmacy and this if I had to pick a top two cleansing oil but um this is amazing like I love it. it literally helps get all the makeup off within one use it wipes everything off like you just have to get it to see what I'm talking about and then this one right here you literally just need the smallest like literally a little dollop the way that it suds on your skin is super amazing like usually sometimes even if you do like an oil even if you're double cleansing and use an oil then a uh, cleanser you still have makeup on your skin but with this you do not have nothing there's no makeup no nothing on your skin like your skin is literally squeaky clean and a little bit of this really sets up now i can see why it says super potent cleanser because like literally that's exactly what it does so anything that i would say that you need from this video you have to get this this is very this is very important i'm telling you you really need this in your life do yourself a favor now for makeup let's go in with foundation my favorite foundation of all time is going to be the shiseido foundation and um the hustle lab foundation i don't have that foundation i need to buy one but i do not have that foundation but i still wanted to like bring that up but this foundation i always get compliments on my skin like it's never gonna fail i'm trying to tell me and i'm done with that i did her crazy i don't have that one either no i don't but um this foundation is the best i get the most compliments on my skin i like my foundation to look like skin as you guys can see um i like i don't like cakey no cakey nothing i just like it to look like skin i can't really describe that because it is what it is like it's skin and i get so much compliments on my makeup all the time and for me that kind of makes me see what foundation works for me is how many people <laughs> notice my skin or to say that it looks really good obviously i work i work in a makeup store so i'm not saying people have to give me a compliment they don't but i can really tell when someone's like really like staring at my skin and they're just like no like your skin is perfect it's gorgeous i'm like okay what foundation did i wear that day okay this is the one right here that's what this does for me every single time but i love it it wears nice it stays on all day like she's a staple in my life like i the best foundation i wear this foundation all the time this foundation house of labs and charlotte tilbury is definitely in my top three um foundation and it's the charlotte tilbury skin the one that she just came out with recently not the um other one because sadly they don't have my shades Ugh. yeah but sadly they don't have my shade in that in that original one but the second one they do have my shade and i'm obsessed with that foundation it's literally my favorite the next thing that i've been loving is the Giorgio armani concealer oh my god i just if you love the foundation how could i forget i got this in goddess suit uh, I used to wear Giorgio Armani. I have to rewind because I literally just remembered. I used to wear Giorgio Armani. Ooh. Someone's hating on me. I used to wear Giorgio Armani and Shiseido together. Compliments galore. If you love this foundation, you will love this foundation. If you love this foundation, you will love this foundation. It's just magical. It's worth the price. It is worth the price. Old me would have been like, who would pay for that? Cause not me. But this is definitely like worth the price, worth your money. The concealer at first, I was not impressed, but I love this concealer. It makes under your eyes look so smooth, so nice, really pretty. 
just like skin it has i feel like it has a little bit of like a little bit of like glitter a bit in there but it's so pretty and it lays really nicely underneath um your eyes i used to do like really bright concealers now i kind of tone it down a bit so now my concealers are like a little bit more closer to me because i used to just do the most but now i'm into like natural glam i do like brighten my eyes a little bit and i'm heavier than a blush that's just my thing when it comes to setting i went back to this i've tried different other powders which were good but um my favorite one right now that i've been using which i probably need another one because i'm done i ran through like this is probably my second one yeah whenever i tell people that i use the laura mercier powder the translucent they kind of go crazy they're just like really and your complexion you use that yes i have it on today i use it today and it's perfectly fine with me i feel like if you blend it out right you should have no issue yes if i want to i can use the darker shade but that's kind of not going to give me that like nice natural kind of bright bright an eye that i want i don't know um how can i describe it i feel like darker concealer you use brighter powder for me and brighter concealer i would need a darker powder to set my under eye so i do have a darker shade that i go in with um if i had a bright concealer which would be the huda beauty one I don't have that one right now but that would be the one that i would go in with if i use a concealer that's a brighter than me but if i'm using a darker concealer i'm gonna go in with this one right here and i love it crease proof doesn't move my makeup it's just the best and obviously we've seen the tiktok of how you're supposed to do the thing that's what i do too i have shella tilbury in number three and she is this is how much uh, she is abused I literally have to scrape the edges just so I can use it. So this is, this is no lies here. I'm obsessed with this and I cannot wait to buy another one. I want the three and the four. It just does what it says it does. It's flawless all the time. It looks super good. If you want your makeup to stay all day, do not move and just look good in airbrush. You definitely need this. And for brows, I must say that I have been obsessed with the, oop, let me fix my light a little bit. I'm still testing out lighting. I have been obsessed with the Anastasia, Anastasia I tongue twister. I have been obsessed with the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow freeze. Um, didn't think I was gonna ever get into this, but I love it. I mean, I know you see it on TikTok and everything. I love it, it's amazing. I don't think her brand is all that to me anymore, honestly, but I would just definitely say with the brows, she got that unlocked. That's something for her to keep. But other than that, I don't really care for her products anymore. But the brow freeze, when it comes to her brow pens, like she has it in a bag. Like that's definitely her thing. Um, not me sharing the brand, but I have a next product by them. Um, the other thing that I love from them that I went back to is the liner. I play with this all the time at work, and I'm just like I keep saying I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna buy it, and I finally bought it. And if you're looking. If you're looking for a liquid liner, let me show you my two favorites. So my favorite is going to be this one, the Sport Collection. Literally the best liquid liner you will ever find. If best wing, your wing will be sharp as a knife. You just cannot go wrong for the price. You're just like, why wouldn't you not want to get it? It's very pigmented. You just literally cannot go wrong. Best liner ever. This one, it just took me back to like back in the day. I know some people still do liquid liner, obviously, in the pot. You know, Inglot, that's very popular for their liquid liner that they had. But this one, I would just say, is just as the same. It's really nice, very smooth, very black, very creamy, nice to move. I left this top off one day by accident and still good to use. I'm not saying leave your top open because you're not supposed to, but thank God mine didn't ruin. I love it. If I really want like a thick, black wing i'm pulling this out it's amazing now let's go let's get down to the blush this is my favorite blush i've had this blush probably about maybe three years now literally and she's not going anywhere favorite 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 blush i use this blush all the time obviously these two are my two favorite i should play with this one this little orange one's kind of pretty but i don't think it's for me but it's literally my favorite blush. I love it. I have it on right now. I mix this with this. Ah, oh, 
I'm just this one with the rare beauty on my cheeks and I love it like you literally just cannot go wrong you literally just cannot go wrong with any blush um this is my favorite it's very pigmented it stays on all day it does not move her products are amazing I'm gonna go and talk about lippies I love gloss I live by gloss and a liner my favorite liner is makeup forever I'm in the last shade I bought that the liner so many times it's literally my favorite and I always like like a nude lip or pinkier nudes but sometimes I do dabble in glosses and all my glosses are the same which is pathetic but it happens the charcoal that Dior has me in with their little lip glosses with their lip oils and their lip maximizer I honestly prefer the maximizers over the gloss it's very cute if you want like a cute lip liner gloss moment I definitely say it's very nice for that also the Patrick Ta don't sleep on this gloss either I feel like they smell like bubblicious and they're just amazing just for a nice like color on your lip just a lip liner and go moment but the chokehold that this maximizer then had on me the um, berry one and this is literally my favorite color I have it on now obsessed obsessed like I said if you love your nice overwearing lips and just like a you know like a sheer color a pop of color I should say a way to go they feel minty they're really nice i just love these lip gloss my next color that i want to get is in cherry but they're so pretty yeah that's it for my favorite video thank you guys for watching i plan to do these monthly so i can't wait to show you guys next month what i've been loving and i'll see you guys next time bye